Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Zach Wild, Black Level Society, straight from the Chippendales Dance Club, getting ready to roll with the Milwaukee chapter on the Experience Hendrix Tour, and you're watching Dunlop TV. So what's, good, what's next for you after this tour? Um, right back into the Chippendales Club later on tonight. <laughs> after. Here we are in uh, Milwaukee. What is this? The Paps Riverfront Theater? Oh, this is Fonzie country, man. That's where we are. That's Happy right. days, baby. Hey. Yes, exactly. So obviously you're on this Experience Hendrix tour, and this is a bit of a departure for you and for the normal yeah, for my tour. Chippendales dancing? Yes, it has <laughs> been a slight, a slight departure. But I mean, the, the one thing, the running theme is it's just as intense as <laughs> the Chippendales routines and the dancing. Good and thing the, I got yeah, a bunch I approach, of ones. I approach it the same way. Yes, it's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get involved with this? Did, did you? Well, I've always, you know, I wanted to do it, but I mean, the whole thing is, it's either, uh, you know, tours are set up like, you know, a year and a year in advance right. or half a year in advance. So, and you're always working. Uh, yeah, you know, out with Black Label, where I'd be out with Oz or something right, like right. that. You know, back in the day. So I mean, um, I never had the opportunity to do it. So now we got the chance to do it. It's great. What does it, what does it mean for you to be on this tour? I mean. Well, you know, my, my son's name is Hendrix, you know, one of them. So, I mean, as, as far as I'm concerned, it's all win-win across the board. I mean, you get to, you know, celebrating Jimmy's music, and then uh, and then also you're hanging with a bunch of you, your friends, and you get a chance to watch them all throw down every night. So, right. yeah, I mean, it's just, there's, yeah, I don't want to be part of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, no, it's, just, it's a great time, man. Hendrix, Hendrix and his use of effects and his playing and how's that how's that inspired you to do what you do? Well, I think you know he'll always be the chosen son and you know the Messiah. He'll be the Jesus Christ of electric guitar. One of the first chord songs I learned was uh, "Hey Joe," you know, because it's C, G, D, A, and E. So you know, so I could play along with the record, you know. And from there, you know, just learning the rest of Jimmy's stuff. Because and then you know, and everything was new then. You know, there was no Marshall stacks. There was. Right. You know, uh, no fuzz there spaces. was no fuzz boxes, there was no waz, there was no, you know, and all these crazy effects going on. But Jimmy, Jimmy loved using them though, you know, I mean, it was like when a new toy came out or a new crayon came out, he was like, oh, let me try and see what color I can, what I can do with this, you right. know what I mean? And I mean, really when he came out, it was almost kind of, I guess, as if, you know, movies were in black and white and without sound. And also when Jimmy came out, everything had color and it, had sound. A whole nother dimension. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. It was just like that mind blowing, you know what I mean? I mean, for me, my, my pedal board's pretty simple. I mean, it's just, you know, a, a bit of chorus if I want to have some chimey, glassy type sounds. And then you got, you know, obviously the, the overdrive. You know, I have a phase 90 in there, and then I also have the carbon copy if I want to use any uh, little bit of delay or slap or anything like that. And then I love the Rotovibe. Which, you must use you know, that a lot in this gig, right? The Rotovibe? And the Rotovibe has that awesome Hendrixy, you know, Trower, you know, Leslie effect and stuff like that. So I love that pedal. And obviously the, my signature wah. Yeah, but like you said, with, as far as Jimmy goes with the effects and everything like that, he just, uh, when, a, he, when a new pedal came out, he, you know, a new crayon, he would he would use it. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, he would, and it would be cool. He'd, he'd fit it somehow in, in the solos or the songs, like the octave pedal and all that stuff. You know what I mean? And what I hear in your playing sometimes is some of the second and the second wave of that style of playing. A little bit of Robin Trower, but a lot of like Frank Marino. Yeah, well, Frank Marino is a huge influence on me. Huge. You know, I mean, I, I, for me, that was like a Coltrane experience, like the possibilities of what you can do with pentatonic scales and stuff like that. And, you know, Frank's technique is beyond insane as well. And then also looking back pre-Hendrix. Well, you know, where Jimmy got it, because Buddy Guy's here, you know right. what I mean? It all comes from somewhere, because that's, that's how you learn, you know you what I mean? So, yeah, well that's, part, well, that's all part of your education, and, and every, you have to start somewhere. So did you bring your your normal BLS rig? Your yeah, I got my signature you know, heads yep, and my signature heads, and then uh, yeah, I did my all my gear. I mean, because it's just I, I can play anything through it. You know, I can play clean stuff. I can play the country. I, if I joined a country band, I could use this rig. You know what I mean? Or if we're playing in black label, or I'm playing with the boss, or you know, they, I can do everything with this sound. 
So what's good, what's next for you after this tour? No, we're gonna, we fire up the uh, the Black Label Armada in April. We're going out. We're bringing out a bunch of our friends. We're going out with Down, oh. uh, Butcher Babies. We are coming out with us and uh, the Devil. You know, it's Howard's new band. You know what I mean? So. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. The Catacombs of the Black Vatican, that comes out April 8th. Oh, all right. So I'm going to buy a copy of that, I heard. It's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, I heard it's pretty good, huh? It's, it's awesome. I think it's their finest dance album to date. <laughs> I, I feel you'll burn the most calories with this uh, Black Label offering. <laughs> Is that what they call it, an offering? Or whatever a product. Burnt offering. Or whatever product they're putting out. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's what I do when I dance, you know, and you'll notice that in my Chippendales routine later on tonight. Right. <laughs> <laughs>